So, a popular fan theory that's been floating around the internet for a while is the theory that not only did Loki fake his death, but he was bannered the whole time. Now, in this theory, yes, I can believe that Loki maybe faked his death, but him being banner is just... no. The reason it makes no sense is because, even though the argument says that Bruce doesn't act as smart throughout the whole movie, if that was the case, then why would he be talking to the Hulk and having inner conflicts with him even when no one is around? He's not fooling anybody, and if that was Loki, that would be his goal. He is the god of mischief after all. If anything, maybe the reason Bruce isn't himself and can't become the Hulk is because maybe he's transforming into Professor Hulk. Also, the Russo brothers had to say this, quote, a lot of people had interpreted that the Hulk was scared of Thanos. The Hulk had his ass kicked before, so it wasn't like the minute that he gets his ass kicked, he is going to run and hide. It's really the notion that Hulk and Banner have a very dysfunctional relationship, which was explored further in Thor Ragnarok. And I think that the relationship is starting to strain between the two of them, and the Hulk isn't interested in playing the hero for Banner anymore, Joe Russo said. And he then went on to say, I don't know if Hulk sees the value in the relationship, they both want to control Hulk's body. The Hulk brings fighting and strength to the table, and he's not quite sure what Banner is bringing yet. So I think this is becoming a stubborn push and pull between the very despaired personality stuck in one body. End quote. So that pretty much confirms that that's not the case. So my theory is that Loki is alive, because Loki is not stupid. He wouldn't give himself up so easily unless he intended for things to move as planned, which I'll get into soon. But that's a pretty solid theory right there, but I believe that instead of him being Bruce, he might have been Doctor Strange. Now, bear with me. I'm not saying that he was Doctor Strange throughout the movie, but I do think the reason we see these two go off screen so often is because maybe they're doing some switcheroos, and you may not have noticed because the Russo brothers are so good at distracting the audience and deviating their attention to what's currently going on on screen. So, let's look at the times they go off screen. In this scene, where was Loki for the past few minutes? And why did he just emerge behind this rock? Where was Doctor Strange after he helped pin Thanos down? I mean, Maybe he was there, but if he was, why did they go out of their way to not only show him, but not even give him any lines or anything to say for that matter when Quill was getting angry? You may say, well, if he wasn't there, wouldn't anyone notice and how would he have been able to hold him down still? Well, maybe that's because his cape has a mind of its own essentially. It can pull him down. And maybe they may have not even noticed he was gone, like they didn't when he was looking at the multiple futures. And the reason I have to believe that Loki and Strange have some kind of plan together, not necessarily switching, is because notice how the end perfectly mirrors the beginning of the film. In both scenes, these magic men who play with reality seem to be faced with a choice, let their friend die at the hands of the Mad Titan, or give up the Infinity Stone. They both hardly put up a fight and give in so easily and materialize the stone from thin air. After that, they both end up dying. Now let's go back to when I said they may be switching. Well, from the Avengers 4 set photos, we know that they will be going back to the Battle of New York from the first Avengers movie back in 2012. So maybe that Loki is then told about the events of Infinity War and helps them with their plan and then goes back to his own timeline and lives out the next few years as a double agent, keeping the timeline intact, and then finally meeting the end of his cycle at the beginning of Infinity War. Sort of like Deacon from 12 Monkeys. Anyways guys, if you liked that theory, remember to leave a like, hit subscribe if you're a Marvel fan, and I will see you soon.